My name is Jared Poland, and I'm a photographer. And I've been capturing amazing stories, one frame at a time, since I was 13 years old. And now I share my stories and my experience with the world. So join me as I travel the globe in search of incredible people, fantastic places, and wonderful adventures, one frame at a time. This is Frono's Photo. Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com, and I'm about to embark on a journey to Cologne, Germany, to a photo show called Photokina, where I hope to see some incredible gear, meet some amazing people, and capture some awesome photos along the way. But before I do that, I have some packing to do, as well as make some tough decisions. So here are a few quick tips if you're traveling with camera gear. One of the things that I always make sure to do is take my gear on the plane with me. I do not check it. And the reason that I don't check it is because if it's with me, it's probably not getting lost or damaged. Now also, I'm using a bag here by a company called Think Tank. It's designed for photographers and videographers who travel. I can get clothes in there, I can get gear in there, and it fits in the overhead compartment, whether I'm flying domestically or internationally. And finally, because you're traveling with camera gear, it's possible that security is gonna stop you. So if they do, just say, hey, if there's anything you would like to see or take out of the bag, I will be more than happy to direct you on exactly how to do it because most likely they're not photographers or videographers and you wanna make sure they handle the gear properly. So it looks like we're packed and ready to go. Let's get on the road. Welcome to Cologne, Germany. So let's talk a little bit about Cologne. It is the fourth largest city here in Germany and it's located right on the Rhine River. That was founded in 38 BC. Yes, that is over 2000 years ago. It's a pretty old place, but it has some awesome history to boot. One of the centerpieces of Cologne is right behind me. It's the Kölner Dome. They started building it in 1248 and it's pretty much under construction still today. At one point, it was the tallest building in the world, standing over 500 feet tall. It also survived World War II, even though it was hit over 14 times with bombs, it was basically one of the only things that was still standing at the end of the war. Although I'm here in Cologne to go to Photokina, it's gonna be hard to resist the urge to grab a camera and go shoot the Kölner Dome. There's so much history there that I have to capture it in images, but that's what's cool about traveling. Part of traveling is coming home with memories. Those memories are triggered by images, and that's why photography is such a strong medium. So when you're out there in the world, no matter what you shoot with, go capture images and come back with amazing stories and images to share with friends, family, Family and honestly, have great memories to look back on in the future. Jerry got me started in concert photography, and um, I can express myself in photography um, like I can make myself understandable, which I can't verbally. I just do it with pictures. He just gave me all the uh, all the tips and all what it takes to take concert photos. Jared Polin, Fronosphoto.com. So some of you may think that photography just lives on your phone, but there's a whole world out here of photographers that are looking for information about new gear, as well as information on how to take their photography to another level. So let's get to it. So what is Photokina? It is the largest photo show in the world and it takes place every two years. What brings me here? That you get to see the latest in technology around cameras and video. While at Photokina, you are gonna see everything from new cameras to new lenses to new accessories. There's a ton of gadgets and gizmos and everything else in between. We're recording live from Australia. The show is absolutely immense, covering more than nine halls, and I'm determined to see every inch of it. 
It's kind of different today because in this world we know what's coming out before we actually get to shows like this, but this is where you actually get to touch things, meet people, shake hands, walk around, smile, laugh, take pictures. That's what's cool about being here. Not only do you get to see that technology, but you get your hands on it and you get to ask questions from the people that actually built these things, so you get a lot of first-hand knowledge. So let me tell you why I'm here at Photokina. It's so I can get that first-hand information, learn as much about all of the new tech and gear as possible, and pass it along to people that may not be able to be here. So there's a ton of different press conferences to go to that not everybody normally gets to see. But because I get to attend it and we have the live streaming technology, I sit there and live stream it so everybody around the world can follow along and see what I see as it's happening. Along the way, I'm not afraid to share some of my own commentary because one thing is to hear what the companies have to say, but it's another thing to hear what I have to say. And one of the ways that I formulate my opinions about the new products is to get my hands on it. To not only get my hands on it, but ask questions of the people that made it. As in any business, networking is extremely important. Not only does this give me the opportunity to meet with large companies, but I get to meet with the fans and other content creators and share ideas. So they inspire me and hopefully I do something that inspires them. I'm a music photographer and it's my passion. Soaking up every information I can get. So Frono's photo is a lot of input for me. I want to make music for the eyes with my photos, so it means a lot. Jared Polin, Frono'sphoto.com. See ya! And so what's really exciting about Photokina is that I get to meet people in person, the same people that share the love of photography that I have. One of the things that really stands out to me after talking to a lot of my fans here at Photokina is how important being creative and photography is to their daily life. Hello. It's crazy to see in real life. I know. There are so many people here that are into photography that follow what I do that it's great to see them in person and hear all of their personal stories about how what I've done in the photo community has helped them not only in their photography life, but in their personal life. I get really excited to know that the videos that I'm creating help the next generation of photographers capture amazing images. So it goes to show you how important photography is, whether you shoot photos just on your mobile phones or you take it to a whole nother level and pick up a larger camera. But at the end of the day, no matter how you capture images, you're still capturing moments and memories. And that's what it's all about. So even though there's a lot of ground to cover at Photokina, I get to meet some of my fans there, but not everybody gets to attend. And that's why I set up a meetup over at the Kölner Dome so I could meet as many photographers as possible. Photography is something I want to do professionally later. I'm currently working on getting there and uh, most of Jared's videos help me a lot. I've been following him and you guys almost religiously. The uh, Raw Talks are very entertaining and an integral part of my week. Jared Polin, froknowsphoto.com. See ya! So the one thing that tends to happen at an event like this is you see a lot of gear, you talk to a lot of people, but you don't actually go out into the world and shoot. I can't come to an awesome place like Cologne and not go shoot the cathedral that's behind me. So while I have a couple of hours before the meetup, I'm going to get my camera out and I'm going to start trying to get some awesome photos of Cologne.
What I always find interesting is, it's one thing to think about what you're gonna take pictures of when you don't have a camera in your hands. But then I get these different ideas. As soon as I pick up the camera, I'm seeing a whole different world. Whether it's looking up or finding shadows or finding tight details, that's what's interesting. As soon as I put the camera in my hands, I get infinitely happier. And that's a great thing about being creative in photography. It makes the rest of the world disappear so that you can focus, no pun intended, on capturing awesome photos. So I'm gonna to continue to shoot. And don't forget to look up. Hey there, don't forget, if you're interested in learning exactly how I capture these images or how we make these videos, then check out the full line of Frono's Photo Video Guides. Learn how to unlock the power of your camera and capture amazing photos with the Frono's Photo Guide to Getting Out of Auto. Learn how to finally take control of your flash with the Frono's Photo Guide to Flash Photography. And learn how to shoot and edit video with the Frono's Photo Guide to DSLR Video and Guide to Video Editing. If you want to take your creative skills to the next level, go to fronosphoto.com slash guides to learn more. So there's always street performers. You're going to run into street performers no matter where you go. They afford you a great opportunity to get great shots, whether it's with your DSLR or with just uh, the cell phone that's in your pocket. But respect their time as much as they're, you know, they're out here performing and you're taking their picture. So maybe throw a couple of shekels down there to give them something to say thank you. I didn't know what he was saying. He basically said, give me more. So I gave him some more and I also took a couple of more images, but it felt right. And a lot of this is you go off a of feel. It's just a mutual respect. And I think I got some pretty cool shots. Sorry. Yeah. You're getting pulling. I am. Frodo photo. That's me. Oh. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet I you. I you and you too. Oh, thank you very much. So this was one of those cool things to end up with. And I, and I was taking pictures of him uh, doing his art on the ground, and then I saw his face. And having the chalk all over his face, he looked like he could tell a great story. And so I'm like, I, I need to give him a couple dollars because uh, like I'm asking for permission. That way I was able to get the shot that I wanted. And he gave me his card, so I'll probably just email him the photo in the future and say, here, have the photo, use it for what you want. So it's part of those photo stories, but being that I'm at the Colner Dome, that thing is super impressive. I need to switch back to tell another story with the wider shots, and that's what I'm gonna switch to right now. I moved here to Germany from Mississippi, using photography to get out amongst the people and learn the language and assimilate. That's what photography does for me. I knew nothing except for just to point a camera and press the shutter, that was it. He's taught me everything that I know. Been watching ever since, cracking up, you guys are killing me, man. Jared Polin, froknowsphoto.com. See ya. Man, so that shot's super cool. This could be a good place to try and get a nice group photo uh, when we do that meetup a little later. All right, so I have quite a bit of the wide shots. Now I need to focus in on either the people walking around or tight details of all of the things going on with the Dom right here.
All right, that was super interesting. Now, I always have an idea, or I think I have an idea of what I want to shoot. And we were on the other side of the bridge. I, I'm like, I'm going to focus on the Conor Dome because that's what's here. But I always see people and I want to tell the photo story. I want the wide shots, the detailed shots, the mediums and the tights. And I'm always faced with interesting photos. We have the Dom. We have the guy playing the guitar. We have the street artist using chalk on the street. We've run through the, the gamut of different type of images. And also one of the last shots that I got of a woman sitting outside of the cathedral right here, it's one of those kind of moral dilemmas on do you take the photo? Do you not take the photo? I made the decision to take the photo. I did put a couple of dollars into her cup, but it, it's tough. Happy with what I got, but it also makes you think of how lucky you are. I think I got some great stuff. Um, but other than that, I gotta head back to the hotel room to get ready to meet up with the, uh, the rest of the, the fans that are coming a little later. So I'm gonna get out of here. I'm happy with what I got. That's it. What it means to me is basically discovering photography both in an aesthetic way and also technically. I, like, I've been watching his channel since 2011 and since then I've become a half-time professional. So I owe him a lot. Thank you, Jared. <laughs> Jared Paul in Fronos Photo .com. See ya! <laughs>so I'm getting ready to walk over to the Kölner Dome for the meetup and I'm kind of a little anxious now I never know how many people are going to show up is it going to be 2, 22, 222 but honestly even if it's two people it doesn't matter we get to talk about photography but when I started to walk up and I saw people's faces light up well that was absolutely incredible when I saw how many people were standing around, I knew we had to move to a different spot. So we moved over to the side of the Kölner Dome where there was a bunch of steps. And that way everybody could sit down, they could see me, I could see them. We could interact one-on-one -on -one with the questions that they were asking, and that was really awesome. As excited as some of my fans are to meet me, I have to honestly tell you that I'm just as excited to meet all of them. It's just so cool to know that I've created something online, and the fact that they want to see me is absolutely incredible. After we wrapped up Q&A, I think everybody was waiting to do the big group shot. So we walked over to the front of the Kölner Dome. I set everybody up, got the tripod set up, double checked my focus, had everybody light up their face, and bam. All right, so Photokina was awesome here in Cologne. All of the people were awesome. Thank you guys for coming out. This has been amazing. Let's do the sign off on three. One, two, three. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya. So getting a shot like this means a ton to me. Being able to one, have all those people come out to see me and that I get to be in the photo with everybody is awesome. So I can't wait to get this picture home, print it out, hang it on the wall and have it for years to come. So after we captured that awesome photo, we all walked over to the town center to have a couple of drinks, to hang out, to have great conversation. I had some conversations with people that came in from other countries. I heard about how something I've done has affected their life, and just hearing that affects my life. It's amazing to hear these stories in person. So this was an incredible night, but like all good things, it must come to an end. So we said our goodbyes, I packed my bags, and I'm ready to head home. So this was an amazing journey to Cologne, Germany and Photokina. Now where I thought it was gonna be all about the gear, it ended up being all about the people. I got to meet fans from all over the world. I got to meet the people who make the gear and I also got to meet other photographers and other content creators. But as a photographer, the highlight of any trip that I take are the photos that I get to capture and the people I meet along the way. And the photos of the people I captured once I crossed the bridge, I absolutely love. You have the elderly gentleman strumming the guitar. You have the chalk artist drawing on the ground. And while taking photos of the Kölner Dome, I stumbled upon what I think are the most impactful images of this entire photo story. So there's a lot of emotional pictures that I captured, but the one that resonates the most with me is the group shot that I took at the Kölner Dome. It's the fans. I'm truly humbled by all the people that came out.
And that's why I have to print and hang this photo to continue to remind me what it's all about. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.